Measures of variation. Let's provide a definition for measures of variation. So they describe the distribution or spread of the data. They describe how the values of the data set vary with a single number. So there are some ways that we can uh, express uh, measures of variation. And so let's take a look at a couple of those. Uh, one would be quartiles. And within quartiles, we have um, the first quartile and the third quartile. We also have something called the interquartile range. And finally, we have something called the range. So quartiles are the values that divide the data set into four equal parts. The first quartile is the median of the first half of the data. The third quartile is the median of the second half of the data. All right. The inner quartile range we sometimes see as IQR is the distance between the first and third quartiles of the data set. The range is the difference between the greatest and least data values. That's the range. So what does this look like in terms of uh, a data set? Well, let's take a look at some numbers. We have 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, 7, 7, 7, and 8. So let's take a look. How many total numbers do we have here? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So because there's an even number of data values, the median, which is the center, is in between the first eight and the final eight. And so that occurs right here. That's the median. So remember the quartile or the first quartile is the median of the first half of the data. So that's these four values. And so the middle of those eight values is right here. Quarter one, quartile one. Quartile two is the middle or median of the final eight values in this case, which is right in between six and seven, quartile two. So we can actually find some values here. In this case, quartile one, remember, is the value in between this, which is the average. So we have to take one plus two and divide it by those two numbers, because that's the average. And then quartile three, rather, sorry about that, is 6 plus 7 divided by 2. And the median in this case is 3 plus 4 divided by 2. So we get 1.5, 3.5, and 6.5. The inner quartile range is the distance from quartile 1 and quartile 3, which is 6.5 minus 1.5. That gives us 5. And the range is the distance, the total distance from the lowest to the highest number, which is 8. So the question is how does this data spread? How far away does this spread from the mean, or the measure of center, or the median? 
Uh, so we have all the way to 8, to 0, um, the median is 3.5, the first half of the data is somewhere close to 1.5, the second half of the data's average is close to 6.5. Finally, the last part I want to talk about is something we call an outlier. An outlier is a data value that is either much greater or much less than the other values of the data set. There's a, a mathematical calculation behind this that you'll learn about later in middle grades. And typically an outlier will um, often skew the data or throw the information off to where the mean, median, mode, uh, the measures of center are not accurate because of that outlier.